I remember in the 80s and 90s, I was a big fan of the NBA. It, it, I would watch it as much as I could. But after the 90s and maybe even the, I'm going to say after the early 2000s era, the NBA wasn't the same anymore. It just wouldn't. It's not that they didn't have good players in the NBA. It's just what the tone of it, the way they played in the 80s and 90s just wasn't the same anymore. It wasn't. And Gilbert Arenas, in this clip, is going to explain why, and it makes so much sense. Let's go ahead and roll that. I, I know what they can do. Get rid of all the Europeans. Go to college to learn defense. Yeah. What college do hey, Europeans yeah. go to? They have no athleticism, mm -hmm. right? They have no speed, no jumping ability. They are a liability on defense. There's 150 heroes in the league today. Name the top 10 defenders. Just the Rudy Goldberg and Greek DeFree. Other than that, they're just offensive players. They're not defensive players, right? So the NBA took away aggression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They took away aggression to open up the Euro League. When they first started getting here, it was too rough for them. Mm -hmm. And they, so they didn't make it. They didn't make it, right? Oh, so eventually, yeah. they softened the rules. They didn't soften the rules for the Americans. They softened the rules to open it up international. Yeah. So when they're saying the Euros is going to run the league in the next five years, why do you think that? More threes, pass and cut. This is not our league. This is not the American style. This is the Euro style. <laughs> If you look at the NBA today, all that, the, the, the scoring, like he said, they're doing, man, that wouldn't be going down, man. Nobody playing defense. You know, no, it's not, it's not as aggressive as it used to be. Like these players today couldn't play in the, the, the NBA of the eighties. Couldn't play the NBA of, of, of the nineties, please. They wouldn't make it. But he said that they basically try to change the NBA into a European league. Whether, it, whether it's not aggressive and all of that. Now, what I would say this, so that's why the energy isn't the same. The tone isn't the same. I haven't watched the NBA game, I don't know how long. And, and this is coming from a guy who loved watching NBA and same thing with the NFL. The NFL is not what it used to be, bro. It's not. It's, sometimes it takes me a lot to even watch the NFL. It's not that I'm so busy that I can't do it. It's just, it, 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 I see where it come from. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Now, I watch the Super Bowl here and there, but just more so for the fan fan, sometimes even just for the commercials to see what's up, what new movies, whatever, right? But this is a great opportunity for brothers to create a league that has the aggression, that has the defense. You know, if you create a league where you still have brother, the people playing like the 80s and 90s style, you know, NBA, oh man, that's something to see. You know what I'm saying? That is something to see. Now, you got Ice Cube, he got the big three, right? So he already got a league going on. Well, shoot, assist, assist Ice Cube then to bring, to bring the big three. Because, you know, Ice Cube talked about how the NBA has sab tried to sabotage the big three. And he, him and his partners was taking the NBA to, to court over the sabotage of the big three. Because, see, this is what these people do. Even when we create something, you say, well, create our own league, they're trying to sabotage our leagues. That's what they try to do. You try to create a football league, the NFL trying to sabotage it. Instead of saying, okay, let's compete. Let's see who got the better league. That's not the way they get down in this country. It's all about sabotage. It's all about uh, uh, trying to stay on top. They do not like to compete whatsoever. But them brothers should, should help Ice Cube build up the, the big three. That's really what it is because he got an established league right now. But, yeah, the NBA, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't fool the NBA. I just don't. I mean, it's like I say, it's not the same no more. Even the players they have, like, I guess. You got a couple of them. And think about it. The majority of the players that you would watch today is players that, that, that started way back almost in them time period, right? You know, like LeBron, you know, uh, guys like Steph Curry and, and them kind of guys. Outside of them, like, these new guys, like, okay, like, you know, it's just not the same, man. And like I said, I can't, I can't watch it. I, I just can't watch it. I don't waste my time with it. It, it, it's no, I mean, you know, it's not that, you know, they're not dunking on each other like they used to, you know, they don't even foul each other like they used to, you know, boy, you barely touch somebody, you know, the NFL, same way. You can't hit nobody like you used to, you know, you hear everybody talking about, oh, Tom Brady was so great. Tom Brady wouldn't have last that long in, in the old school NFL because where they used to hit them quarterbacks, oh, he wouldn't have lasted. Tom Brady lasted that long because nobody could hit him. That's really what it is. He didn't really get hit, you know, at, Ask some quarterbacks like Joe Montana and them, they got used to get hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, but that's football. Hey, that's part of it, right? But, uh, you know, let me know what y'all think about the NBA these days. Yeah, it's, it, to me, it's too soft. And, and Gilbert Arena just kind of broke it down. I just knew something was wrong with it. But, yeah, that, that, nobody watched European-style basketball, and, and that's why.